delicious. Oh, those chunks of tomatoes. I love the um, cracked black pepper. Parmesan cheese already in it. Guys, this is it. Oh, I'm yeah. making spaghetti, so let's get started. I'm starting with um, one pound of ground beef. So I'm just going to break that up. And then add my seasoning. So for the seasoning, I'm going with um, just seasoned salt, garlic powder, and I am out of black pepper. I accidentally, um, or I accidentally dropped it in my dishwater. So the next time I go into the store, I need to pick up some um, I need to pick up some black pepper so I see that you guys like my cooking video thank you so much for um, all of the support it means a lot to me and I had a lot of fun making that Christmas cooking video yeah I had a lot of fun making that video so I'm just mixing up all of my seasoning to add flavor to my ground beef. And then once I have that done, I'm going to boil the water for my pasta. Pasta. I hope everyone's year is off to a great start. Mine has been wonderful. I got out um, this morning and did a little photo shoot that I'm really excited about. Um, and I can't wait to share with you guys the photos. So since I'm only cooking for one, actually I'm cooking for two because I plan on having leftovers. Spaghetti always tastes so much better the day after you cook it. So much better. So I look forward to eating spaghetti tomorrow. And then I am going to um, let my water get hot before I add in the pasta. And guys, you may hear um, a lot of wind in the background. It is 80 degrees today. It is very hot. Um, so you may hear my shades rattling. I am dry camping, so I can't turn on the air conditioner because I'm not hooked up to electricity. Well, I could turn on the air conditioner, but I will have to run my generator. So if I ran the generator, um, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. And if I ran the air conditioner, you wouldn't be able to hear me. And I talk to you guys um, as I cook today. So we're just gonna have to listen to the howling of the wind. So while that water is boiling, I am going to chop up some onions to add to my ground beef. I've never had an onion like this that is so hard to uh, peel the skin off of it. I don't know what's up with that. What 
do you do to keep yourself from crying whenever cutting up onions? Or do you not have that problem? Alright, so I have my onions all chopped up and I'm just going to add it to my ground beef. I have the ground beef cooking slow because I chopped up the onions um, after I started. make food taste so much better as a kid I hate onions but now ooh, I love onions I like fresh onions and then of course I can eat um, onions inside of uh, ground beef like this I'm not a fan of grilled onions Oops. no food gets left behind So do you guys use traditional noodles to make your um, your spaghetti or do you try something fancy like bow tie noodles? I'm going to make a Caesar salad to go with my pasta so I'm going to go ahead and cut up my lettuce. Ground beef um, is about 75% done, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my pasta. It should only take about 10 minutes to cook. And I'm not measuring this out, but I'm adding in about two cups of pasta. guys I can't understand why <laughs> it is 80 degrees in January 80 80 80 so in this van it feels like it's uh, mm, 
100 degrees. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. two cups of lettuce. I'm adding a couple tablespoons of Caesar dressing. Yep. And then I'm just going to mix in just shaved Parmesan cheese. Okay, so ground beef is done. I am going to remove that from the skillet and add in my garlic bread. is almost done and I'm going to add in the garlic bread and let that toast for about five minutes on each side and then we'll come back and check on it guys do you see me sweating <laughs> it is hot in here so hot 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 And when I let the windows down, um, I get in too much wind that it blows out, that it blow out the burner. I know I say this in every cooking video, but I honestly do wish you guys could smell this. It smells so delicious. So delicious. I was thinking about doing a Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday cooking video. I think it's time to flip the bread. Oh, yes. So my garlic bread is almost done. And yes, you can make garlic bread without an oven. And... So I moved the toast to the back burner because now I am going to um, drain the noodles, add the ground beef and the sauce. And as you can see, our toast is nice. Look at there. Mm -mm. Who needs an oven to cook garlic bread? Okay. So I drain the water and put my ground beef. 
in the pot. And before I add the sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. So I'm trying this new sauce. Have you guys tried this before? Mmm, that's really good. I have to say the sauce gets two thumbs up for me. It is delicious. Oh, those chunks of tomatoes. I love the um, cracked black pepper. Parmesan cheese already in it. Guys, this is it. Oh, you have to give it a try. This is delicious. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to taste this tomorrow because <laughs> again spaghetti always tastes better the next day always yeah pasta is done and look at that toast mm. a nice golden brown without an oven all right I'm gonna fix my plate and then I'll show you guys what it looked like I started eating and forgot to show you my plate so I added some uh, Parmesan cheese to the top of my pasta. And then of course my um, Caesar salad has Parmesan in it. And then my little garlic bread. So I just had, um, I just took one of those slices and cut it into um, three smaller pieces. Looking delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.